Here's a soppy job somebody's brought in for us to do. This is a gear selector rod out of an outboard motor. Um, forward or reverse selector apparently, I don't think they have more, than, more gears than that. And they're building up a unit and this, this piece, you can see it's quite long, it's 130 millimetres longer than they need it to be, so it needs to be shortened, which is a bit tricky because it's got splines cut on one end, so you'd think easy way of doing this would be just to cut 130mm off of here, recut some splines, but uh, no, we haven't got anything that we can cut these with, so we're going to have to cut it and weld it. Um, and the customer has suggested, a little sketch here, that we do something like this. So turn a spigot on one piece, hole in the other piece so that it slots together, lines up, um, and then we'll just weld round it. So that's the plan. Problem is, once we cut this, the only way we can uh, well, turning one end is not going to be a problem. We can cut this off about, I don't know, 70mm or something, turn 20mm back. And then the other piece, we've got to drill a hole in the end. Uh, trouble is, putting it in a lathe. Let's have a look, see what fits. So the problem is, obviously, you've, you've got this in your lathe spindle. can only go in so far. Um, and on this machine, that is not going to come out the other end. No good. An ancient old Colchester student, and well, it's poking out the end, but we've got to cut 180 mil off of this. That's not going to be any good. Even older Smart and Brown. Get in there. But that's still sticking out too far. We could put a collet on here. But then the drawbar would bring this out, this end. No, not going to do it. Ancient Atlas. I think this might even be pre-war. Um, something my dad put together from bits. But this will work. We can... Uh, Poke our piece through the spindle. We have a handy 3 8 collet, which I've already tightened up too much. There we go. Loads of room. So, that's what we're going to do. Cut it. We can face the end. Drill it. In here. And then... We'll cut it again, turn a little spigot on this piece.
slight problem that the bar is pushing back in the collet, so I need to tighten this up a bit more. Um, this is stainless steel, which possibly we could go a bit faster as well. But I, do I want to change the speed? No, yeah, I think it's okay. Only one little hole, I just need to have it tightened up so it doesn't push back in the collet. Let's have another one. That'll do. That's enough. Yep. Well, here's our pieces. One piece drilled, the other piece turned down, and hopefully that will just snug in there. Little tap. Handy, handy lump of wood. That's together. Check the length. 14, 514 we're aiming for. I think so. What we've got to do now is weld it. Ha! Well, that was an interesting thing to weld up. Um, as per usual with stainless, it just doesn't dissipate the heat, so it gets very, very hot very quickly. Um, even though this is a, an 8mm bar, 8mm? No, it's 3 8 um, I was only running at about 60 amps to start with, and gradually turning it down and turning it down, only about 45 to be to finish. But not really enough gas coverage, and not enough post flow. So, uh, you know, this was still red hot when the gas had stopped flowing after I'd made a little, um, a little run. And this was done with four tacks and then filled in between. It's okay, but it's black, which is not a good sign. But we're going to be smoothing this down, cleaning it up. I'm sure it will look okay. But, uh, yeah. Um... Another one to remember in future. Bigger cup, more gas flow, more post flow.